the weather started cooling down, so it's the end of the summer bay fishing for snapper. Me and Shane have decided we're heading out for an evening fish to try and chase an elusive ocean going giant end of summer snapper and also drop a livey over and try and target some John Dory. Right, Tuesday night, me and Shanos on another mission into Tasman Bay. Basically, what are we, two weeks for daylight, two weeks for daylight savings, eh? Two weeks now? I Four days? So. Or a week? And so we're just trying to make the most of it before we head into the winter fishering. Fishering? Fishing? Fishery? Fishery. We're going to have a, a sly snapper fish for the evening. We've got wind and tide in the right direction. Not much wind at all. So hopefully, well, as soon as we started getting kitted up, the wind or the breeze started. But it's meant to die right off to a mill pond. A few good snapper in the bay at the moment. Actually, not really many small snapper, just big snapper. And me and Shane Oz are going to hunt that elusive 30 pound snapper fish thing. Shane Oz is doing some admin out the back and just as we're starting to come out the harbour, that wind has picked up and on, on the fairway beacon it is doing nine knots and that's just Murphy's Law but we're going to still have a go at it and if you guys fish out of Nelson if you go on to the Port Nelson website go Harbour Conditions you can actually look at live cameras I'll post something up here now or a couple of pictures of it of uh, the weather so you can look at the cameras live straight out the cut but also at the fairway beacon which is their furthest marker out with the white lights on that gives you live up to date I think every 30 seconds to a minute updates on what wave height, wind, wind direction and all that sort of carry on so you can get up in the morning and see what it's doing and decide hey we'll go out when we looked at it just before it was about 3 knots and 0.1 now I don't know what it'll be doing well I looked and it's doing 9 knots so there's even all the little sailboats out having a bit of fun in the wind just Shane also saying he's a bit of a lemon, but I don't think he's a lemon. The weather banana. I think we're both weather bananas. Recently we have been. We've had so many failed trips. Kina Peru. Kina Peru. Tasman Bay. Tasman two. Bay. That was alright the first trip. It was rainy, but we did alright. We got some snapper and then Tasman Bay 2 was a fail. Tasman Bay 3 was good and now we're on Oh, Tasman Bay 3, yeah, Tasman Bay, no, this is Tasman Bay 3 now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's six failed chips. Yep. One, uh, yeah. No, not failed, two are all right. You can't say they were failed, Shane, I think. And we got to spend magical time together, too. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Right. We're all baked up. We're all good? Yeah, mate, there's a out, we're good to go now. Let's go. Warp speed engaged. Just turned up to spot triple x81 and it's not bad out here it's probably doing yeah eight nine knots uh, but we, we should be able to manage that hopefully they all our biggest problem at the moment is not wind or tide or anything it happens to be about a 130 meter log ship coming straight sort of straight for us which is probably going to scare all the snapper away or yeah, well this guy might anchor up out here somewhere, I don't know. But he's not that far away at the moment. Shanos has deployed Burley like instantly. He had it all rigged up, everything organised, the admin before we left the harbour. And so we, we're into it. Motor off, sound is off. And uh, let's catch some snapper. Or get run over by a container ship. 
big shippeth is a coming, Shanos. One good thing, Shanos, is we don't have all the crap like last time. When we went out on sad day, we had so much. It was basically all the leftovers from the season that we wanted to chum up and use up, and it was just carnage. There was, Some of it wasn't even that fresh, it was pretty mean. Yeah, it was pretty bad actually. We had so much admin to tidy up and not trip over gear. This time we were, we were smart, we kept it little to minimum profile baits. I'm still looking at that container ship, but I better get a bait out. That is a big ship. Monstrous, probably. How far would that be? 100 meters away, Shane? Not even that? Oh, no, just a couple of hundred. Would it be a couple of hundred? Yeah. yeah, it's just massive, that's why it looks so close. <laughs> My distance measurings so up the shit, hey? It would be. You'd, you'd think it was a couple of hundred if you got in the water and started swimming towards it, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Yikes. We're swinging a wee bit, but. Hopefully that wind's going to die off like it's predicted to do so. Got my straight line out of the back. Cast out as far as I can. Shane's about to get into our pallets, our secret pallets. And then I'm going to chuck a flash rig out the side and probably drop a livey over. Get us a beaky out and catch some liveys. Oh, you've still got the security tag on it. No, it's, it's new, so... I don't, I like to keep them, Shane, so please don't ruin that if you can. You, you open it and I'll film it. <laughs> You're doing well, champ. It's a little necklace for you, pal. Thanks, mate. That could be a little life raft for you for your next swim. Oh, yes, yeah, she's maximum glittery. Tip the bucket over. So we're just going to go for a sweep for a starter. Three scoops to get started. Then we're just going to do a nice long one out for Marco's tray line. And uh, just a fourth one for luck. Don't put that lid on. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, over the over the side with a sir. Oh, what am I talking about? Stop, Mark. I'm dropping a sabiki. I'm dropping there. a sabiki. That's what I'm doing now. I don't really want to rig up until I've got something on board, do I? We need that those pallets out in the middle pal, so I can help pallet up. Well, you, well, I don't want to stamp are you, are you going to be the main pallet guy? I don't want to, I don't want to get in your way. That would sort of be funny after our discussion today. What's that? <laughs> pallet hog. <laughs> yeah, you're giving me shit about it. I'm going the bat candid. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is like a maximum. So we probably need to be more consistent, don't we? Yeah. Every 10 minutes, have a scoop or 15 minutes or something. Have a what? Do a scoop every 15 minutes or something. Oh. Something's hitting the train. Something's having a go. Push on. Yeah, let me get that sinker. Oi, 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 oi. Look at that. Yes. All right, we're on. We're loaded this time, pal. Through the arc, pal. Oh, yeah. Good form. Boy, the top's giant. Give me that sinker now. Watch your little digits. You let that go. Hold that tight. Look at that for teamwork. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Right, I'm getting a rig ready, pal. Right, I'm going to use a Black Magic John Dory rig. I'm going to stick that on straight on the side, of the, straight down beside the boat. I'm going to use a five ounce sinker as well on the bottom of that. Excuse me, Shane, I've got 
the night. No messing around? No, no messing around. Well, five ounce won't move, it'll just stay straight below. We don't want it in the way of the stray lines and that, do we? Shit, that's all go. Dude, it'd be pretty bloody good to get another John Dory, eh? Absolutely, yeah, man. We had this big debate on how to get crunchy skin John Dory. So if you don't know, keep the skin on the John Dory because it's delicious. No scales in it. I went on YouTube. Did you go on YouTube as well and search it out? Uh, Amy Googled it. Oh, yeah. So I went on and watched old mate's video on how to do a crispy skin John Dory. Followed, followed his recipe to the T and it wasn't crispy at all. It was a major letdown. <laughs> old mate stitched me up big time on that one. But I still ate the Johnny, it was all good. But I was hoping for that delicious, crispy skin. So I've just done a loop on the bottom there, team. It's probably quite hard with the camera to see anything I'm actually doing. And just loop that over five ounce. And black magic hook there. On the John Dory three-way swivel, and I'm going to put that little live in. There we go, livey. Oh, he's in trouble already. Deployed. Oh, he's in big trouble. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's going to be sitting right next to the burly, eh? It's probably not going to go well for him at all. No, you'll be out a long way with that, Rob. Right, we are set up. Is that the speed here? Yeah, I'll stray line. You've lost your live bait, and I've got you with the sabiki. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you straight line up my? No, it was out. Probably. It's probably not ideal, really, eh? Um. Right. How are we gonna do that, Shane? Os. Well, that didn't turn out too well. Sabiki got Shanos. And you lost your Mackie already, eh? I'm saying it's uh, Sabiki Sabotage, actually. Yeah, fair call. Oh, I'll straight line it out the back. You sabotage me. Yeah, I'll try and get you another one. Smaller one. That, that other one's pretty big. Have to be bloody quick if we get anything on that rod for not go around the burly pot. Oh, this is a string. Oh. Whoa! Oh, I think I lost one. Or a few. There's another massive one, eh? Mate, nothing even hit the, any bait yet, eh? No. Wow. Not even a tap. Confident or debacle? Oh, good job. Potentially. Do we want any more or just leave them? We've got a couple. We've got a spare each, so that's all right at the minute. Sweet. Chain was deciding whether to go Kawa head or fresh Mackie head, and he's opted with option one with a fresh, massive Kawa head. Are you confident that you've made the right decision? Shanos? No, and I'm worried about. You've got casting issues at the moment, don't you? Yeah, I'm worried about my placement too. Well, what you what you can? Oh yeah, okay, over the top. 
like Sylvester Stallone champ, over the top. Here we go, the camera's rolling. Ooh, nice. <laughs> the thud of it hitting the water. That's a big bait, dude. If something hits that, you're gonna have to let them swallow it and mulch it up and get amongst it, eh? Proce you're gonna have to process it, you're gonna have to let them semi devour it. That's not a two minute noodle pellet, it's like a main course, eh? Yeah. It side. needs to semi digest in its belly and all before you can actually strike. Oh, we've got stray lines live baits, flasher rigs, rig and rigs, pellets and chum. Oh. What time do we get out here? Check the time and bait have been soaking for about at 6. I'd say 5.30 we were... Fishing? Yeah, just after 5.30. We're 45 minutes in, dude. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty quiet. It could be that giant tanker going past that scared the fish off for miles. But, but like I said, people aren't getting a lot of snapper at the moment. It's just tends to be a big snapper, a random big snapper. Andy, a mate, went out last night and he got... um out with old Tim Colkey and they got a 24 pound snapper, 82 centimetres. And it was 24 because I actually weighed it before I came out tonight. It was a giant actually. And they got one other snapper. Shane last week, how many, he got, you got an 18 pounder and a couple of little panties. And that's it, most people are coming in the shop just with a 20 pounder and a panty. So I think the schooling fish might have moved on. I know Golden Bay's fishing real well really really well but it's a little bit quieter for the school fish here in the bay at the moment lots of panties shallow so if you want panties you want to head into uh, Mapua, Rabbit Island and get right in the shallows there so sort that of eight eight meters 12 to eight meters Ooh, oh is that a double hit oh yeah look at the um ones are Oh no, they've hooked each other, haven't they? You got a shot around both of them. something swimming around both of them. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. <laughs> it's not even stripping line, dude. No idea. I'm calling spiny. Spiny dog. Spiny dog, not good. This can't go past, like Dan's boat's a beast, man. Every time I go on it, I fall in love with it more and more. Yeah. Shane's talking about the magical Senator 770. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't put that in the video. It's a bit biased. It's gone, 6.45. And we've actually not spiraled in the fishing depression. I've just had to slow Shane Oss down because he's chopped up like five whole car wire and chopped their heads up and massive chum trail. There's a super slick out the back. He started hacking into my cooter bait. And it's, I've slowed him down now. It's getting a bit antsy. He's barred me. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like this. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> but it is dead. That one spiny dog, the little Mackies for bait. Andy just texts me saying any luck, and I said, nah, one spiny dog. And he said it was the same last night. They got two fish, that 24 pounder, and a small one. So we're just hoping a big moocher will go by. If we do manage to hook him, it will be no fight because he'll be so bloated from uh, Shane Oss's Megla Burley Trail. You weren't complaining about my Megla Burley Trail when you got your 20 pounder. Then you kicked me over the back to go and retrieve it when it wouldn't go back in my Burley Trail. <laughs> you suggested it. I didn't. I was just like, oh. And you were like, oh, I'll go and get it. Hey, but I saved you as well. Imagine you if did. I hadn't thrown that rope five minutes into the swim back. I was letting your snapper go. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you didn't actually. Dedication. That wind's dropped off now. Stop. Stop it's baking. It. It's an uh, oven out here. Absolute oven. 
feel like I should put some music on because there's nothing else going on. We're just taking the piss out of each other. And we're stealth, we're stealth ship, it's good. We love baiting. Everybody needs straight lining. We've got two live baits, live bait there, live bait there. Two oh, stray line, flasher, stray line. You got two stray lines? Uh, flasher, flasher, stray line. And then I've got a stray line and a flasher as well. So we currently have seven rods out and not much going on. Bait. Oh. That's the Rat King. You're in big trouble, Cal. No, I don't think it'll be ready. You'll have to get that. You'll have to get that in. That ain't it. Not doing much. Uh oh. Not a Johnny. It's definitely not a Johnny. Some weight to it, I think it's probably a, that velocity runs pathetic though, dude. It didn't do anything really, just sort of it's here now. Oh, it's a Johnny! It's a Johnny! Oh, shit! Net! 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 Oh, he's feisty as! Net! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, how good! Yes! Oh, he's big one, dude! Chainos is not mucking around, we've got another livey going straight on. There you go, Black Magic John Dory rig. Oh, thank you, Black Magic! How good! <laughs> That is awesome, dude. Mate, he went. Hey, he, he went. I would have never have called that a Johnny. Spanking me. <laughs> Do we need to get some fresh Mackies, mate? Better size, or we're going to run him? Let's run him. <laughs> we might need some fresh ones, eh? Ones aren't so, not so beaten up. This tail's done to me. Oh, he just went round the, wasn't quite smart enough, I should have cast it out a bit, dropped it straight down and went round the pearly pot. Uh, I felt that one was pretty beaten up though, Shane. He did a few knocks, that guy. Right, cast this guy out away from the said boat. Mate, that is one angry John, well, angry John Dory for sure. There you go team. Oh! <laughs> I'm just about released him. Stop playing with it Marco. Mate, this guy, ah! Let's grab his, yeah, grab his chops. Oh, 
Yeah. There you go, team. Black Magic, John Doyle. What was that? Dribble, dribble drink. I think I'd like you excited. <laughs> there you go. Black Magic, John Doyle rig. Did what it was supposed to do. How awesome is that? He's quite big too, Shanos. Yeah, look what, look at the size of his guts. Is, is that Mackie in there or has he just been scoffing chum? He's probably been scoffing chum. How good. Black Magic, John Dory rig. Thank you, Black Magic. Once again. Oh, man, he is feisty, eh? Don't let him, don't let him loose on you, pal. Well, if that's the only fish we're going to catch, Shane, also, I'm going to be fair and pretty happy with that, pal. I like to think that's just the start to the evening. Look at that. Oh. oh, what is it? Is that all our chum? No, that's a rolled up Mackie. Ooh. Oh. That's not good. Oh. 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 That is rotten, pal. That is rotten. My other rig, I'm using a Black Magic Snapper. Snatcher, pinky, eight bar row. And those baits haven't even been touched. Shane's just gutted that John Dory and it is nasty. Proper nasty. <laughs> Sun starting to set. It is a mill pond pretty much now. It's perfect conditions. Can't see another single boat out. Actually, when we got to the ramp, there was one other boat launching, eh? I'm surprised it's been nice all day. There's no one else out here. Come on, big snapper. That's a good size hit, that one. Slippery little hooers, aren't they? <laughs> oh, that's criminal. Shane Oss's chum trail brings the boys to the yard again. Oh my god. That KO hook's got it right in the lip. So he'll pop off pretty easy, but he is so bloated. Like his belly's just gorgeous. <laughs> he took a chunk of barracuda. First snapper, pal. Do you want to keep him or do you want to put him back? Up to you, mate. He's a bunch here. Normally, that would be uh, probably around a six pound fish. What do you reckon? Six pound? Yeah. Six pound fish, but I'm putting it more around that 18 pound with the 12 pound of chum from Shanos' Meg Laburley trail. <laughs> Oh, 
right in the corner. That's the KL T hook team. That's the hook I use for Tasman Bay. It's a black magic hook. And generally, nine times out of ten, you're only lip hook. And that's exactly what we did for this podgy little fella. There you go, can you see that belly? Look how bulgy. <laughs> so were we keeping him? Yeah pal, he's a lunchy. He's a lunchy. Alright, put him there. Put him in there. And redeploy. And then I'll deal with him. Is that a litre? You heard a lot of energy chumming though, didn't you? Shit, that didn't even touch the sides, did it? I was all dried out, mate. Uh, it's about seven, about seven thirty now. It's mint out here. Fishing's been pretty awesome, considering we've only caught a snapper and a legendary John Dory. But to be fair, when you've got conditions like this, you can't complain, and you can't spiral into fishing depression. Which, funny enough, I have not. We're not going to change those burlies over. We've still got them out. We'll just let them um, carry on instead of reloading. It's the live bait again. He wasn't happy about that, was he? I can't believe how quiet it is, dude. It's unbelievable, just not much of anything, eh? It's better than beating the shark. Oh, yeah, no, it's awesome. This is how snapper fishing should be. It's classic how, isn't it funny how, like, when you get a fish, you feel you have to tell the other guy to get the net? Like, the other dude already knows he's getting the net. Like, there's a fish coming, he knows he's netting it. But the angler's always, get the net! I just thought of it then. Shane, I'll get the net. You're probably on gun, get the net. What do I need to remunerate that whole uh, thing to you for? Net. Just excitement. Emotions running high. You saw it was a Johnny D. I didn't know. I didn't. I really didn't know, have any idea what it was. I guess it was sort of weight, but it was still kind of fighting, you know? Um, That's a light stick bait rod, too. <laughs> he had it bent over a bit. Your number two is really frustrating me. There's like a gurnet or something coming up and then having a tap at it and then just not hooking up. Because it's a Sakaro. <laughs> Pallet tastic. Right, with the last bit of light, we're just going to change a couple of rigs out to Lumo. So, Black Magic Snapper Snatches and Snacks, we change into Lumo. In my drawer at the back, you've probably seen in previous videos, I've got a UV, UV light there, so I can use it to supercharge uh, the, the skirts and that. Just put one skirt in the drawer to charge. You got something on, Shane Ross? Sport shark or a little girl. Sport shark. And there you go, they're charging. <laughs> if you haven't got a UV draw like me, get yourself a little black magic uh, UV light. One of them. You can charge up your lures as well. I made, they were both squillies, and I lost both squillies. Did you get the Those just go straight out. That's that real wash of cat's pyjamas? The what? That real wash that you've got at work? 
the real wash. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, man. The stuff for the boat's awesome. Like, it's next level. I love it, eh? I've done my windows, I've done the car with it. The spray, well, you've seen it. Just hose your deck down and you're done. And then just wash, rinse it out with fresh water. It's meant to. And just a quick layer for, like, instead of soaking it with the brush, and yeah. just do the scourgey sides. Just gone about 8.30, nothing much else has happened. The live bait tangled. Oh, we had a spiny dog, then my live bait got tangled up. Shannon's had some nibbles on his other rod. But yeah, we're sticking it out. Hoping a big snap will come along. What are we giving it to, nine o'clock? How much bait you got left on there? Are you re-baiting or are you done? Uh, I'm just going to stick to the straight line. Oh, yeah. Shane Loss is done, he spiralled. Yeah, I'm good. That squirrelly's really Well, we're done and dusted. We just got a barracuda. He was hanging around in the underwater light, so we thought, oh, we'll have a go. And nailed him, so Shane Loss is covering him up for fresh bait for our next mission. We're probably going to try and head down to Kinnapuru for the night. Saturday afternoon and try and finally get Shane into Kinnapuru for a fish down there because As you saw from the previous things we had two failed trips down there one We just got there and turned around and came home because it's so windy the second one we got out that was New Year's actually and The wind was just didn't work with us Didn't play ball whoop music But yeah, now that was a cool mission with Shane off we got that cooter we got a, two spiny dogs, a snapper, some mackerel, and a JD on a Black Magic Johnny rig. How good's that? But you had a good trip, Shane Oss? Yeah, mate. It was pretty good because it's just relaxing, eh? Yeah, it was very chill. Just in hope of trying to get into big fish. Wasn't too much going on, it was awesome. Yeah. We bought too much bait like usual, eh? Yeah, we're we both it. said it too. We were both like, oh, you know, well, we won't bring too much. But then you bought, turned up with extra five kilo. And I turned up with an extra four kilo. <laughs> we have to we have to admin a bit better, don't we? Uh, we just get bait excited and it's all going. Good job, mate. Righto, we're gonna cut a track. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.